Hello there guys and of course welcome back into yet another one of us review bros. My name's Aaron. It's really good obviously to have you guys watching at home. We always thank you so much for joining in. It really helps the channel grow and hopefully over the years if you've been subscribed to that is we've helped you out. Today's review obviously is again another pre-workout. Surprise, surprise. This one though comes in a different format to the typical and that is a pill formulation and it's called Night Rider, and it's by the guys at Coca Labs, very well known for producing their Dexter pre workout formulations. And to be honest with you, Stim Junkie Dreams. How is this one going to come together? And it was actually kindly sent down to us by the guys at Cross the Limits. So thank you. But of course, we have to stay 100% honest as we go through the usuals. The taste, a bit awkward. The price, label and of course primarily the effects of this stuff in the real world what can it do for us what can it do for you watching at home well that's what we're here to find out please do like the video please do subscribe to the channel and drop your thoughts down below let's go okay so first segment nice and easy taste and mixability and it doesn't come in any of those obviously it's a pill the pill is one pill one pill for a serving typical size well i think it's mm, i'd say it's smaller than normal i don't know about an average pill size should we say for a typical pre-workout pill formulation easy to do um quick convenient won't clump in the tub it's no storage issues etc etc can keep them in your gym bag in your car Easy peasy. So there we are, that's the taste for you. Into the price of the product guys, and you'll obviously head on over to the Cross the Limits website. The link is down in the description below, so you can click straight through to there. We have a discount code at Cross the Limits that works on any of the products including this one. RB5%, you have to put the percent symbol in, I don't know why, but that knocks off 5% of anything on the site. Therefore, you can actually pick this product up for just £27.08. And you do get, wait for it, you do get a true 60 servings from each bottle, guys. So, you do the math on it, guys. It comes in very, very nice at just 45 pence per tablet. Now, really good, really good. Obviously, if it was just to use this on its own and it was compared with everything else on the price and scale, it comes in, of course, at a 10 out of 10. It's very, very, very affordable. It's a good second segment, isn't it? Let's move into the label. Where does the money go though? Do you even get a lot for that? Let's find out. Into the label of this stuff, guys. Night Rider, what can it do at just 45 pence per the tablet? Very cheap, very affordable. Is there going to be a lot in it? Well, let's flash it up on the screen for you to see it right now. So as you can see, one capsule, you get 60 servings per the container. And we start off with uh, two amino 5-methyl hexene, which is DMHA, a potent stimulant. It's going to give you energy. It's going to give you highness, euphoria, perhaps some mood elevation. It really gets you in the zone, guys, and 200 milligrams is a very healthy dose of it. We next move into beta phenylethylamine at 200 milligrams. Now that's uh, in there for nootropic function and some mood elevation. You know, it fires up the brain, it gets you focused, it gets you from A to B to C to D. You know, it keeps you in the zone at your training session, which is always what we like to see. And that, again, is a good dose. And phenydimethylamine citrate, we hope, at 200 milligrams. Aria Gerensis for those guys out there. A natural sort of DMHA type ingredient because it gives similar effects to DMHA, albeit not as potently, right? It's natural. It gives you mood elevation, a bit of euphoria, mild stimulation, getting you in the getting you into training, right? 
We then move into N-acetylcysteine, 100 milligrams, NAC as short, guys, and that helps promote glutathione levels within the body, which help with muscle recovery, tissue repair, and um, help you with stress under the weights, right? They'll help you with a bit of endurance factor recovery. Anti-oxidant uh, as well, so it helps with general bodily health, right? Good to see it. Citrus aurantium, 50 milligrams, fat burner. Not a huge dose, but it's going to give you a little bit more energy, a bit more stimulation, of course. Hopefully, thermogenic effects. And we finish the label off with Rolfia Vimtoria at one milligram. That's our good old friend, Alpha Yahimbine. It's a strong ingredient, guys. It does a similar thing to the citrus aurantium in terms of fat burning. Uh, it's an adrenaline precursor. It helps as an aphrodisiac. It helps promote blood flow. It does a lot of good for the body. And that one milligram dosage is what I'd call the sweet spot. Any more can come with negatives. Any less, you might not feel it. So potent stuff. Looking on the label, obviously we're not looking at pumps. We're looking at primarily focus benefits, energy. What can it do, right? No caffeine, interesting. Let's get into the effects of this one. We now move, of course, into the effects of the product. What can it do for you watching that? What did it do for myself? Craig's got another bottle of it at his, so he's been using it and let me know his thoughts to get this review portrayed across to you guys in 100% honest fashion. You don't obviously feel anything at the start because there's no like beta alanine, there's no, nothing that really kicks in, there's i.e. caffeine as well. So you have to remember that when it gets to training because what sets in, and this is important actually, I should have mentioned it, right? We've used this product several times. We've used it a few times on its own, right? Which some people will do. I do think the majority will do my second option. My second option is to take it with a base level pre-workout or a daily driver pre-workout. And I'll give you an example. I've been using it with this beauty, of course, daily driver. And the reason being is, guys, you don't want any exotic stimulants in your pre-workout whilst using this alongside it because it could very quickly tip you over the edge. Would not recommend it. So get yourself a basic pre-workout where the only stimulant is like caffeine. I know there's theobromine in there, but basic stimulants, right? No DMHAs, alpha yos on top, or else you just, you're really risking it all. So on its own, I feel like it, it, it worked 100%. There's no deny about that, but it was not that strong on its own. It was still noticeable, still give you a nootropic focus, got you concentrating on what you needed to do. You did have a slight thermogenic effect from the alpha himbine and the citrus orontium. I wouldn't say it was crazy strong though, guys. I would still give it probably like a seven out of 10 on the crazy scale. So it's not like a, a slouch. And that is obviously for someone that's been using pre-workouts for a long period of time. But where it really did come alive, and this is what I think a lot of people would do, and that's why it's very good that it's so cheap because it can be added to a, a you know a daily driver pre-workout, is it needs that, sit, that caffeine to really sort of ramp it up and get things moving. That is where it is very strong, guys. It turns any daily driver into a stim junkie pre-workout at just 45p top up. So it's very, very worthwhile, guys. It got me floaty. It got me high. It got me in the zone. It, it gave me um, a little bit of mood elevation. Nothing crazy, just a little bit. Got me in the zone. It did give me appetite suppression. I didn't feel excessive thermogenic effects, which I like. Savage pumps in the gym and the bedroom wolf pump it was strong stuff guys it does get you training hard it gets you putting in the work it does keep you dialed in on what you're doing which is really important some people are going to question is it as strong as the dexter pre-workouts with daily driver added on it it's close i wouldn't say it was as strong but it's getting towards that level okay do not take two two pills you'll be way too high, like way too high. It just gives a real nice energy speed focus, as it said on there, you know, it gets you energized, gets you really moving. Pumps, if you use it on its own, you don't really get pumped. 
if you use it with another pre-workout with some pump ingredients in it, they're, they're the ones that, this product on is not giving you pumps, right? You get a little bit, I think, from the alpha your hembine, but again, nothing crazy. I did notice a good sense of endurance on it because the energy and the, the sort of mood elevation kept me training. I had to drag myself out of the gym. I, I think it's a very good thing. Now, on our avoid it, add it to the wish list or on the, um, can't remember the other word, but on the wish list or buy it, I would say buy it because of the benefits behind it in terms of it being just so cheap. 45 pence and the convenience of it. I keep one bottle in my gym bag. That goes obviously every time to the gym. Therefore, if I ever forget my pre-workout or need a little boost, a little top up on top of my pre-workouts, it's ready to roll. And 60 servings, guys. So definitely would recommend to buy it. Um, not much more can be said. It's on the crazy scale with another pre-workout. I'd give it like a nine out of 10. It's cr it is good. It is very good. Very good. It does get you floaty though. It's like, yeah, it's a, it's a stim junkie product. It's not for beginners, not for intermediate users. It's not a daily use thing. It is just to turn a normal pre-workout into something special. Appreciate you guys watching at home. What do you think? Have you used this product? Would you risk it? Let us know down below. And of course, as always, stay stimmed night rider style <laughs>